the ice is cold, but the track is hot here at the Athletic Sports Winter Championships. Hello and welcome into our coverage of the Bobsled Sweet 16. I'm your host, Thomas Fitch, and before we get started with the races, let's go ahead and take a look at our bracket. First matchup of the tournament, 1C Canada, 16 seed Japan looking for some Cinderella upset. We're gonna have four time sensors set around the track. First one measuring the start, Japan three hundredths of a second back. And as you're gonna see in all these races, the start, the most important part. So Canada off to a big start. And Japan, when you look at, at, at their speed and just the overall skill compared to, to Canada, obviously Canada number one seed, Japan's gun going to need a flawless run here. Here we get a time check two. And Japan trailing by five tenths of five hundredths of a second, I should say. So still really close for for them being a 16 seed. But at this point, Canada is slowly you know increasing the advantage. And again, it comes down to that speed. If you can get the opening speed and you can run without any bumps, without any hitches, you're gonna have you're gonna have a good run. And that's the key. It's speed at the top, smoothness down to the bottom. And Canada continuing to lead here as we get to our third time check heading into turn eight and six hundredths of a second ahead for Canada pretty good split there but you know they're going to want to improve that a little bit now turns nine and ten as we've talked about the most dangerous on the course both really smooth through it here and Canada at this point on cruise control and it is crazy that you could say cruise control when let's get this time check seven seven hundreds almost eight hundredths of a second ahead for Canada We'll see what this time is here as they get the win, 0 0.550. They're going to have to improve that just a little bit. Now we head to Switzerland and Great Britain in our 8-9 matchup. 8 seed Switzerland, 9 seed Great Britain. They are off. Should be a close one again. Even matchup. Let's check this split. But actually, whole tenth of a second back for Great Britain again in the sport. A tenth of a second. It's a big difference if you remember the, the last race. Japan kept it within a tenth of a second the whole race. But so far, pretty clean racing from both of these teams. Obviously, the Swiss, normally more dominant, didn't have as good of qualifying times while they're back in the eighth spot. Coming to time check two, and Switzerland just advancing um, or further increasing that lead. And again, this is what we're going to say all uh, this whole tournament is it all comes down to who has the better better start time because better start time equals more speed the more speed you generate it's all gonna build up as you get further down the track switzerland doing that pretty well so far actually a pretty clean run from both these people as they go into turn seven and head into turn eight where we get our third time check and switzerland further in increasing that lead now two full hundredths of second turns nine and ten great britain a little high and wide Actually, both a little wide coming out of that, but both handled it pretty well. A little low there for Switzerland on that turn, but again, they have some space to work with as we come to our final time check. Switzerland, three hundredths of a second, so it should be Switzerland moving on. Pretty clean run from the Swiss at 3.61, pretty good better than Canada, who they'll face next. Four seed USA taking on New Zealand. Now, this is probably going to be a lot closer than people think. New Zealand's been a tough team in the past. Let's see if that up to a better start. And it looks like it's U.S., but it's really close. 17 hundredths of a second. Really close here. And again, this, this is going to come down, since they both had such equal start times, it's going to come down to whoever can run this course best, who can hit the turns best, and who can stay the cleanest. It's a quick track, and it's not that difficult, but... The U.S. slowly increasing that lead, but again, it's going to come down to cleanness. U.S. a little wide there, a little bump on the side. And New Zealand looks like they came a little high into that turn and came a little high off. That will probably cost them fractions of seconds, and obviously, as we've mentioned, bobsled, a sport that comes down to fractions of seconds as we head in to turn seven. Right now, U.S. looking like they're barely commanding a lead. And they've had, they have that, you can tell that that bump by New Zealand was big. As we get into turns nine and 10, New Zealand a little wide on both of those. Yeah, you can see them going into the side there. 
you know, I, I, all the U.S., a little low there by the United States, but this should be in the bag for the U.S. Yeah, you can see that at almost two and a half uh, tenths of a second. The U.S. is going to cruise to a win and head on to round two. It's been all chalk so far in this tournament, but 12 seed Italy looking to make a statement that they're here in the bobsledding world, and they're off to a little bit of a better start, eight hundredths of a second ahead of Germany, who's a little out of control there. Italy taking a pretty commanding lead, and, and Germany not only with a slower start, but their cart's been all over the track. I don't know if that's some tightening issues, some nerve, and another bump there, another bump. Wow, and they're airborne. This is really unbelievable. Italy now increases their lead by one and a half tenths of a second. This is, you know, if you had told me that Italy would be leading this, I wouldn't have thought that it would be about a whole tenth and a half of a second. But Germany going airborne there clearly lost a ton of speed. They already started with a much, much slower start. They had nothing, they, they couldn't afford anything. And here they are, a little high there off that turn. Both both teams actually a little high. Coming to our next time check. And almost two hundredths of a second. So if Italy can stay clear through these nine and ten turns, they do a much better job. Germany wide and going to hit the side again. They've been all over the place. Certainly not what we were expecting from this German bobsled team. And it looks like Italy is going to cruise down to a win. Yeah, now two, 2.3 tenths of a second. So Italy's going to get the win. What an upset we have here. We move to the other side of the bracket where two seed France taking on 15 seed South Korea. South Korea is going to need everything it can take to pull up the upset, but not a bad start for them. Just one tenth, one hundredth of a second behind France, but similar to uh, the, the Canada-Japan matchup. They're going to need to be flawless. And in turn two, pretty smooth there for both of them. Little wide there by South Korea, but actually managed to go around that turn really smoothly as we come to our second time check. And South Korea's taken the lead. Now they lead by a hundredth of a second. Now if they were to be able to pull this upset off, this would be incredible. Obviously France um, finished second in the world last year had huge expectations, but South Korea running flawlessly, had a great start, and hasn't looked back since then, as we go to turn seven and turn eight, but here's where the money is made. Turn eight through eight through 11 is, is what it all comes down to. Time check, and now it's three hundredths of a second. This is gonna come down to the wire and come down to these two turns. And both handle it pretty well. So right now, South Korea with the advantage, Smooth there through 11 as we heard turn to the final stretch, the final time check. And South Korea slowly increasing their lead. Are they going to pull off this upset? And they've done it. South Korea upsets France. Following the upset, the path's just got a little bit easier, possibly, for whoever can win this matchup. Seven. Seated Spain, 10 seated Australia. We'll see who gets off to the better start here. And Australia, the 10 seed off to a little bit of a better start. Hold um, 10th of a second and a half there ahead of Spain. Again, both these teams middle seated. Not likely to contend, but as we mentioned, with 15 seed South Korea, they're not having to go against, against France, who many were seeing as the possible favorites. It's wide open. If we come to time check two, and it's the exact same margin, Australia, 0.145, tenth and a half of a second in the lead. Pretty good turns there for both. So Australia right now, the 10th seed, if you were to tell them a year ago, they would have a chance possibly to be in the semifinals of this tournament. Again, South Korea obviously just came off an incredible run, but who knows if they could have that run again as we come to turn eight in the third time check the exact same time so these last three splits after the that first that first time check they've been running the exact same time so clearly 
they've been running with the speed that they have. Both really clean through not, turns nine and 10, obviously the hardest turns on the course. So for Australia, if they can make it cleanly through turn 12, and now Spain cut into the lead a little bit. Could Spain make a run as we come to the finish line? Just no. Pretty close. Australia gets the win. All right, we've come down to our last two matchups. Three seed Russia, 14 seed China. They're trying to pull the same upset that South Korea just did. And it's pretty close right now. They're only trailing by a hundred of a second, so pretty good start from both the teams. And it's been a pretty good showing when you, uh, as far as the lower seeds. Italy, obviously the 12 seed advance. South Korea with the upset of France. Japan narrowly lost to one seed, um, one seed Canada. So, so far pretty close. China just five hundredths of a second back, but for Russia, all they have to do is, is run pretty cleanly from here on out. China, it's gonna be hard for them to make up speed a little bump there from Russia, but Russia just has so much more speed and they, they, they got off to a much better start. So for China, they're going to have to hope for a bump or something of that sort from, from Russia down the stretch. But so far, Russia running pretty clean as we come to turn eight and our third time check. Yeah, Russia slowly, slowly advancing, but again, China hanging around a lot tougher than I think a lot of people would have thought. And a little bump. It looks like Russia was a little airborne there. This could be troubled. So they did get airborne. They're still going down the track, but can China make up any time? No, they actually lost time. So that is incredible. Russia went airborne. Remember, Germany went airborne. They lost. But Russia going to make it away with the win and a great time. Final matchup of the first round. It's kind of like Gonzaga, UC Irvine coming on at, you know, 10.50 Eastern time with March Madness. But instead, it's 6 seed Austria, 11 seed Ukraine, and a dead heat, a dead heat through the, the first time check, both off to a really good start. We have not had a dead heat so far. So now it's just going to come down to who can race the best race. I think Austria t tends at least to have a little bit more speed. Not the best turn there. Um, they tend to have more speed, but... Um, Ukraine coming up with the same start, and now Ukraine is in the lead. One hundredth of a second that Ukraine leads Austria. A little high there in Austria. Again, kind of like Switzerland generally thought to be a, a top four power when it comes to bobsled, but again, qualifying not as great. So now they're having to go against Ukraine, who's really revamped their program in the last couple years. And if they can hold tough, they're running a pretty clean race. Austria goes high up on turn seven and into turn eight and they're still trailing austria trailing by three hundredths of a second this would be a big upset almost as big as france getting out but ukraine oh stay up but ukraine has fallen ukraine got airborne on turns nine and ten and we told you how dangerous those turns are they lost it coming out and Austria, man, it looked like Ukraine had the win, but Austria is gonna sneak away. And Ukraine, they thought they had it. Little turn there, um, little mistake in turn nine and 10, and our, our Elite Eight is set. That's all we have in our coverage for you today, but stay tuned because the Elite Eight of the Bobsled Championships are coming up.